I'm Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today, I wanted um, uh, to introduce you to Tiziana Bertinetti. Tiziana is an acupuncturist. She works in York. Um, and I was very keen to explore this concept of sleep with her. As you know, I've done lots of videos talking about how important it is that we sleep better, that we improve our sleep. The thing is, it's one thing about talking about sleep. The question is, how do we improve our sleep? Um, Western medicine fails us with, this, uh, with regards to this because the best people can do is prescribe sleeping medications, which are really not the answer. So Tiziana has a lot of experience with uh, sleep, sleep problems, and I thought we'd try and explore that a little bit more. So um, Tiziana, you're an acupuncturist. Yes. Uh, you work in York. Yes. Um, and you have a lot of experience with sleep problems. Perhaps um, I could just explore a little bit about sleep with you, uh, mm -hmm. and then we can uh, explore it with further videos as well. Yes. So do you come across a lot of uh, patients who have problems with their sleep? Yes, I do actually, yes. So it's either patients that come to me because they're aware that they're insomniac, or people that come to me with other conditions, um, no matter what, gastrointestinal reproductive issues, and they also have sleep problems, and they might not even be aware that they have sleep issues. But no matter what I treat in people, I always, always make sure that uh, um, I treat sleep, because sleep is absolutely vital for good health. What percentage of people that you treat for a variety of different things do you think have sleep issues? More or less, I'd say about 70%. Right, okay. Mm. And in terms of how do they present? So I know you said that uh, you, uh, gastric problems. What other kind of sort of things that you see where you think, oh, maybe sleep is an issue? Gastric problems, mm. you said infertility, you say? Yes, yes. But also, you know, obviously fatigue, mm -hmm. being tired, being mm -hmm. stressed. Mm -hmm. um, so because that, that's the thing, you know, somebody stressed stressed might not sleep very well and okay. then if you don't sleep well you get even more stressed and anxiety presumably yes. you probably come across people who come to you yeah. for acupuncture for anxiety yes. and then you probably find that maybe there's a sleep issue underlying that correct yeah okay uh, could you talk me through what the consequences are of bad sleep or poor sleep uh, to our health oh there are so many uh, it lowers the immune system mm -hmm. and it's actually also often the missing link in terms of weight loss Find. Right. It's like um, the missing piece of, uh, of the puzzle because of the interplay of certain hormones, uh, yeah. like, you know, leptin and ghrelin. And You're right, and yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. So, but without so going actually too lack much, of sleep makes us put on weight. Yes, yes, because if we don't sleep um, long enough and well enough, then of course the following day usually we tend to crave not the slice of cucumber or the lettuce leaf. <laughs> we want the, the fats and the carbs and... You know, so yeah, we tend to and to be more hungry in general for the wrong types of food as well. Okay. So there is a link between uh, obesity and and, uh, and lack of sleep. Yeah. What else? Uh, any other uh, any other kind of consequences that you can talk to us about lack of sleep? Uh, yeah. Again, we feel more stressed, mm -hmm. depressed, anxious. Mm -hmm. So it affects our mood. It affects the menstrual cycle and fertility in both men and women. Really? Fertility as well? Yes, definitely. So again, um, I treat uh, quite a few um, couples for fertility issues, successfully as well. And again, no matter what I treat, I, I look at sleep. It's okay. super important. Again, if, you know, because if we are stressed and then we don't sleep well, our cortisol levels stay up in our system and we can't conceive. And we get more inflammation yeah. if our cortisol levels. Yeah. Uh, what, and I guess, I mean, there's weight loss, uh, there's weight, I guess, weight gain, diabetes as well, presumably yes. is linked to poor sleep, mm -hmm. high blood pressure as well, yes. I guess. Um, uh, what about pain? Do you think, uh, oh, yes, absolutely. Do you think poor sleep contributes to pain? Yes, yes. And then, of course, when we're in pain, we can't sleep. Yes, and then it's a vicious we can't one. sleep. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you know, we have to help with that as well. Okay, so really common and lots of medical consequences, including fertility problems, anxiety, depression, I yes. guess, yeah. or migraine as well, yes, I guess. Yes, yes. Okay. So pretty well much everything. Everything, because right? sleep is one of the biggest, or the, if not the biggest, uh, pillar of good health. You know, okay. together with nutrition and um, a peaceful mind, you know, stress mm -hmm. management, um, Sleep is absolutely vital for good And it's health. largely ignored, isn't it? Mm, by a lot of people, I, I would because say. Because people oh, compromise on their sleep. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so can you, um, uh, and we can do this in another video, but mm. uh, 
can you help people sort their sleep out? Yes, I can. Excellent. But I like to work uh, as a team. So I don't want people to expect everything from me and mm -hmm. my needles. Yeah. And actually, people have a lot of power and control over okay. their health. So I like to work as a team with my patients. So there are things you can do without resorting to the actual practice of acupuncture, which can improve people's sleep. Yes, that's right. Great. So um, maybe in the next video, will you yes. share some of these tips? Of course, yes. Excellent. Very with good. With pleasure. So maybe in the next video, we could talk about nutrition and how you think nutrition could affect uh, yes, sleep. Yes, that's very important. Great. Um, if people wanted to ask you questions, do you have a website that they can contact you? Yes, I do. It's uh, www.yorktraditionalacupuncture.co.uk. Great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for joining.